Hello, 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 and welcome to another RT Appetizer. Today we are facing Who Razor with the ever rare Astromancer Elena profile picture. They are in the BBB Guild in Global. They went for Lua, DDR, Zio, Karina, and Knackle. I went for Yolha, DJB, Ed, Aiden, and Landy. They banned out DJB. I banned out Knackle. Let's see how things went. So, usually, Lua is a pain. But I also accidentally kind of created like a guiding light team <laughs> against Zeo. I didn't mean to, uh, but I absolutely did. I wasn't even thinking about it. They are going to go into Yolha, which is preferred because look at Zeo's health. It, it like halved him. Uh, and Yolha is still looking healthy. Lua is just going to hit the S3 button, which is fine. It will not break my Aiden out of immunity. Which works for me. Karina can't really do too much here. She can go into the Ed. But that's fine. That'll get me to proc. They probably should have just s one Because then I would counter bring the Zeo below 50%. And then she'd get the defense buff. But I guess it... I don't know that it matters. If she got the defense buff before... The damage proc? I don't know how that works. It's like layering in magic. I, I don't know how it works. It works, but I don't know how. So, Landy is just going to hit the S3. I find it very delightful that she has exactly uh, 10,000 HP. She did not go into Guiding Light because she does not like going into Guiding Light. Uh, which is fine, sure. DDR does have Pestilence. So he can go into and try and sleep the Landy. Venom will always hit because of, even with a miss, but the sleep did not, which is great. Lua can sleep someone. She can sleep the Ed. She can try to sleep the Landy, which might be worth her time, but she's just going to sleep the Ed. Put him to sleep because he has too many other buffs. That's fine. Try to defense break the Landy. Thankfully, I get a resistance. Although, I, she missed, so I wouldn't have been defense broken. I just would have, you know, gotten a Venom. Uh, I dual attack with Yolha, and they counter into my Yolha, which actually cleanses her of all of her debuffs. But then they get a dual attack, so it's fair. Uh, and thankfully, my Landy does not get put to sleep. Aiden is just going to rip her S3 into the DDR, take him out of the equation, and now my Landy is facing two water units, and she decides now is the best time to go into stealth. Uh, Lua goes into Aiden with absolutely no fear, and I mean hits her because there's no fear to be had against Aiden. Uh, but then Yolha gets to do her delightful eating of Karina. Um, and boy, it was a delicious meal, let me tell you what. We are facing Holus TF with the regular Roz profile picture. Uh, they are not in a guild. They are in the global server. I've seen them before. They usually have very interesting builds. Uh, they went with AOL, LHC, Solitaria, Aria, and Sharklet. I went with Hand Guy, Destina, Ed, Aiden, and Landy. I ban out the LHC. They ban out the Destina. Let's see how things go. Uh oh. Uh, so Arya is on book, which is not great for me, but that's fine. Um. Solitaria is just going to S3 into the hand guy. Uh, it is a damage Solitaria, which does not surprise me at all. Uh, and by does not surprise me at all, I mean very much surprises me. Uh, if the... If the Aiden dodged there, she would have cut the... 
Sharklet and would have been able to put invincibility up on everyone but the hand guy. But she did not because it is Eden. And now I'm in a very rough spot. Sharklet, again, just a damage Sharklet. Gonna go straight for Ed, kill him without a doubt. Uh, and then... Arya is going to go into hand guy and Aiden. I imagine this Arya has zero effectiveness, but you don't need it when you're pure damage. Now I can't really go into anybody because they have skill null and uh, everything up. So I'm going to try and put invincibility up at least on Ed or Landy. Because Landy isn't too bad into two water units and uh you know everything else but they do also have aol so i don't know that it matters but they kind of have to kill yeah they have to kill hand guy uh the sharklet hits my landy and defense breaks her which is not great for me you could say not very good at all uh so now i am almost entirely on the back foot and have no chance of winning uh, but the <laughs> the Sharklet hitting uh, made that very, very, very apparent that I was not going to win this, which is fine. I think they're a very high rank player, and I wasn't expecting anything that they did. One day I'll learn how to say the Korean names, but I cannot for now. Uh, they are the Korea server. They go for Arwell, Aravi, Zeo, Winter, and Bryceria. I go for Hand Guy, Zahak, Strays, Aiden, and Spirit Eye Selene. They ban out the Spirit Eye Selene. I ban out the Winter. Uh, so let's jump into it. I've been using Aiden too much recently. Uh, I'll have to show you guys at the end of this, uh, probably at the end of the next video, that I changed up my Aiden because I'm tired of her. So... So she's going to be a little different from now on. She'll, she still won't dodge, uh, but you'll see. So the Zeal goes into my Zahak, and actually the worst outcome there was that he did not get pushed back at all. Uh, because then at least my hand guy could have cleansed him, but what are you going to do? Not much you can do about that. Strays is going to still go, though, and kill the Arwell. A Ravi can do her thing. I don't particularly care. So Zahak is dead. But that's fine. It's not like they could have gotten back Arwell because they had Bryceria anyway. So I am just going to throw this into the A Ravi because now she is the problem. Bryceria is going to let loose her S3, which is perfectly fine. Aiden will die. Just kidding, I survived. How do you like me now? Uh, I'm just going to push up with the strays and the hand guy. Get a dual attack with the strays because he very much did not like this team. Uh, and then, yeah. There we go. I proc her immortality, but, I mean, she can't kill all three of us in one go. So, one fight left, and I will remember to show you Aiden as well as someone else. Can't go a day without a knackle fight, can we? Uh, I am facing Yoxi in the Valkyr Guild in Europe. They went for Knackle, Sululu, Arwell, Charlotte, and Pirate Captain Flan. I went for Yolha, Hand Guy, Bihu, LHC, and Architect Laika. They ban out the Architect Laika. I ban out the Sululu. Let's jump into it. So Bihu does go first, and it is also an immensely slow Pirate Captain Flan, which works for me. I will just take the buffs off of everyone except for the Arwell, but I just like the Arwell wearing an unbuffable hat on top of her other buffs. Uh, it brings me great joy. I will, however, command the attention of this uh, Landy with the redirected Provoke, then I can S1 into the Pirate Captain Flan, and Yoha wants her to hit her as well, which I'm fine with. Arwell is just going to try to strip my LHC, no dice. Uh, Charlotte can't really do anything with no buffs, so... Whoops! 
I will strip the pirate captain plan. And by strip the pirate captain plan, I mean just give her an attack down. Because why not? Landy does her landy things, but it does not break anybody's barriers. Which I'm fine with. They are going to get a dual attack into the Yoha strip her stuff, but that is fine. I want my Yoha to be taking damage. Bihu has attack buff and an S1. Gonna go into the pirate captain plan, get one burn though, uh, and detonate it. But my LHC will make sure that she dies. Um, don't crit the landy. Never hit. The, never crit the landy, which is fine. Uh, but landy is going to Elbrus the second attack, which is great for me because now I get the proc again. Are well, however, can S three me. And that is fine. I expect nothing less. All of my buffs are going to be stripped, and I will be stunned. But, again, I'm fine. Uh, Landy is going to S1, get another salvo, because that is all she knows how to do. Uh, hand guy, I think I just go into the Charlotte. Kill her, uh, because I don't need her to be around. Uh, Yoha, she's not quite low enough, so I'm just going to S1 into the Landy and command her attention as well. Bihu, gonna go in, get both burns that time, detonate for 13k damage. And now it is Arwell versus Bulk, and there is not a chance in hell that Arwell can take anybody down at this point. So they are going to concede it over to me, and that was a great fight. Thanks you, thanks you, thanks you, thank you, thank you Yoxie. Um, anyway, Aiden. And the other person. So, the other person. I built Surin because I just gave Aiden's gear over to her because she will probably do much better than uh, what's her face ever will. I have her on a plus 27 Alexa's basket because I do not have another uh, of Celine's artifact because her. That artifact is on. Regular Spirit Isoline, or Spirit Isoline. So I can't give her one. Maybe if I'll get more, I'll switch Tempest Surin over. Uh, but for now, she's just on Alexa's basket. Her EE is the first one to absorb some damage when she uses her S1. Uh, she's on Speed and Pen Set. Pen Set for the S1, so I gain back even more health. Uh, almost 3.6k attack, defense, and health don't really matter. Speed 223, not super fast, but should be fast enough to cut with a 30%. 98% uh, crit chance because 98 is close enough, and Alexa's Basket can also help compensate if need be. 276 crit damage, which should be fine. If I gab, I just destroy the world. And then Aiden. She is now on Lifesteal and super bulky because... I mean, now she'll at least live. Uh, I am tempted to put her on Moonlight Dreamblade, but the stats just change too much. Actually, if she's still above 3k... Is she still above 3k attack? Okay, it's not that bad. I'll do... I'll do Moonlight Dreamblade so that she can at least do a little bit more damage with her S2. Um, either way, she won't be counting, and I don't really need her against just dark units anymore. Um, so 3k attack defense 1.2 uh, because I made this ring for her, and boy did it hurt making a defense flat stat. But Thieves' defense kind of sucks, so... Uh, yeah, this is what she's getting. Speed, very slow, because, I mean, she pushes when she dodges, so I don't really care about her speed. That doesn't matter. She's just bulky enough to survive. 13k HP, crit chance 96%, because I think I need to change something. I might change this to crit chance. I don't have any whatchamacallits. I need to change something to crit chance, but I don't know what. No, uh, that's uh, that can't do that. Can't do that. Eh, ninety six should be fine. I don't care. Uh, twenty two hundred and sixty crit damage, which is fine. 
uh, and 20 F res because I cannot get rid of this boot. If you can believe it, this used to be ML Ken's boot, but ML Ken, I mean, I don't even know who that is anymore. I might craft her a better boot. I don't know what, this is the only, like, the set doesn't really matter. I might just, I just might just make a better HP boot for her. I mean, the attack's good. Ah, yeah. The attack's good. I might try to get better defense and better, like, defense percent. I don't know. We'll see. I'll make a better boot. But, yeah, this is her currently. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button. Dingle the dangle. The bell. The the bloodle. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm cringe. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. If you did not like the video, then you probably lose to bulky Aidens or Knackle. But then again, everyone loses to Knackle, so that that that's fine. If you felt incredibly ambivalent about the entire thing, buy a new plushie, put it in your bed, and do not give a shit about anyone who judges you for that. Because if they judge you for that, who cares? Buy cute things. I have an entire like shelf shelving unit filled with plushies because I love plushies they're cute who doesn't want cute things why live your life without cute things